Hello there, this is Aswell here. Welcome to my Let's Play on Tetanus, a PWAD for Doom 2, played in Project Brutality with add-ons, glory kill, keep weapons, and more items in Ultra Violence. This is Map 7, Corrode. <laughs> The decrepit walls of the rusting facility seem to close in on you as you clear it of all manners of mysterious men. Your big gun throbs with the will of a thousand suns, but the creatures continue to pour in from various orifices. This mission feels more suicidal with each passing moment. If the demons don't get you, the asbestos will. Okay, so this map has um, a problem with Project Brutality and uh, I will tell you later on when I get there. Yeah, there's just some uh, couple of gunners over there. You can straight front to the to the crate if you're if you're good. then drop through here now the reason for it is this flamethrower okay yeah I could actually just grab some ammo so this is more like so I would actually just start to make uh, this one la la I like let's play um, no instruction, just uh, just a little commentary that I wanna progress to. Alright, here let's see. Barrels. Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to blow up those barrels because they are actually claustrophobic in my taste. Get off! <laughs> I don't like like machine gun. I don't like that thing. I prefer this <laughs> over than that. Okay, so I think this is a trap. Alright, so flip the switch and then retreat. There are ammo. There is some ammo in here. Those uh, <coughs> rooms that they open. All right. Okay, watch out for the rocket room. chain gunner behind it uh, pinkies I want to ride this lift again to uh, get I want to go to the to the left first Yeah, and then throw a grenade over there. Mm 
kill the monkey boss. Okay. You know, get back to that uh, area very soon. And this has uh, really... It, it, it likes to have barrels in here. Now this crate area is... Uh, has some point of interest I think. Chain gunner up top. Now, if you see the scandal, there is a hidden switch over here. You can lower it to get you back to this platform, which uh, will take you to the yellow key. So, we will go to this yellow door. Now we're here on the uh, uh, the side of uh, the the mini barrels. Uh, okay. So if you grab the uh, this lightning gun, be prepared for a trap. Yeah. This will lower and a bunch of revenants will come after you. Okay. Then we proceed through here first to kill a couple of paladins. I do not flip the switch yet. Uh, if you go, if you go to that lighted, uh, lighted uh, ammo, the box of sh uh, shotgun shells. There will be teleporting enemies. Revenants, more revenants. And uh, some chain gunners on the left. Oh, you did come out here, huh? I'm gonna take your leech now. There's still one more revenant. Alright, probably I'm gonna have to hunt it down later on. I think it's uh, getting glory killed in a way. Or I'll just throw a grenade. There you go. There's still a revenant down there. Up there. Okay. Now we can uh, flip this switch and retreat. Yeah, there will be a teleporting arch by here. Yeah? Careful, there are barons. Okay. You can grab the soul sphere. And then what's next is um, we get out of this uh, area by flipping that switch. Take this teleporter. 
Uh, I mean, left. What am I saying? Then we go to this lift. That would be a couple of inches. Alright. If you grab that uh, auto shotgun upgrade, the paladin will spawn you. Yeah, it has some revenants that uh, can alert it from there. Kill the chain gunner, this one. And then uh, we have a switch over here, you can shoot it for your second secret. Another soul sphere. And then uh, we can go back by flipping the switch. Okay, watch out as you uh, proceed because there is an arch bell. Alright. Then you can grab the berserk pack piece. The thing. Then we go uh, to this side now. Okay, let's drop down. And kill them. <laughs> Alright. This area, it's quite dangerous. If you flip this switch, all hell will break loose. This will open and uh, you'll get surrounded by many enemies. Find a cover if you need to to establish a foothold. Um, those Arachnotrons must die. They're kind of like uh, gonna try to snipe you. Ow. <laughs> All right. I think we're gonna wanna try to flip this switch first for a uh, revenant trap out. Okay. Next is to flip the switch to reveal an arch file. And there's also a monkey boss. Okay. There will be some imps that will welcome you. There are chain gunners on both corners. 
and a, a pinky. Now over here, if you see this candle, there's a crate over here. So that we, if you flip the switch, it will lower to reveal a teleporter to your final secret. It has some boxes of rockets and mega armor if you need it. Now to escape, flip the switch. Alright, let's head down. Through here. There'll be more revenants here. Flipping the uh, this switch will reveal some uh, will reveal some revenants and chain gunners. All right. This one is a lift. Take you to a couple of shotgunners. That one will just lower the lift. You can grab the blue key in this one. And let's proceed to the blue door. There'll be revenants that will te teleport in. Okay. continue ahead all right by grabbing this red key well I have to tell you something there are supposed to be imps that will teleport in here however uh, they re they refuse to teleport this encounter is what I'm talking about uh, earlier on is the problem in project brutality okay so let's just trigger the trap grab the red key and immediately go over here and alert this arch vial it needs to die first yeah there's supposed to be imps that will teleport in all right there's no such imp teleporting in that's the problem there will be some uh, paladins and belfegors over there No imps, no imps, uh, there are no imps, such. Alright, so let's head to this uh, red door. Oh. 
how I flip the switch to uh, receive the water. And down. And if you notice over here, there's a little girl over here. That's more of probably trap. I don't know. Yeah, will it will be all over soon. Okay, let's move on. Need some uh, new mouse on this. Okay, we're not done yet. There are sixteen enemies left, but all of uh, but uh, all of them are inaccessible so like I said from the red key encounter uh, the imps are supposed to teleport in there but with project brutality's uh, programming the imps refuses to teleport in okay so yeah I can't do this 100% kills but if there are still enemies that are still killable uh, with a cheat called no clip I will still do it but uh, sadly yeah to kill everyone in this uh, in this map I have to cheat yeah but I have to do the no clip cheat Okay, I'm gonna have to use the minimap, and we we go. We go to the left side of the map, to this uh, particular uh, spawner. Okay, so this is where they are, actually. They are in here. Yeah, these are the imps that are uh, I was talking about. Oh, see, if the if ever there uh, if ever I encounter this uh, one again, it's unplayable. You know, at least of all, if you do wanna get like 100% of, uh, like. Uh, I'm a fan of Big Mac Davis doing 100% of everything. This stuff in Project Brutality, as you know it, is the issue on why I hate imps in Project Brutality. They are set into hunt mode, ambush mode. And after like 30 seconds, after 30 seconds, they will turn off their alert status. Oh. See? See? After a while, they will turn off the alert status, making them passive again or idle. Get out! That is why I hate imps. In Project Brutality. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go back where I was. <laughs>
and uh, hunt those stupid imps. I'm gonna hunt those stupid imps down first. These pesky imps. It is what it is, little girl. I wish uh, they uh, they fixed that. We're still in uh, alpha, though. It's still not final. There will be more updates to Project Brutality. I hope the next uh, master build will uh, be will address that bug. Anyway, we're done. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, that's map seven, Korod. <laughs> I will see you on map 8.